Mooney. Oh. Hello, I'm Bob Mooney, and uh, this is a, a remarks that I gave at the memorial service for Wayne Nelson on Saturday. Wayne was an extreme pain in the ass, a badly needed one, which he well understood. From my more than three decades of service in government agencies, I very much know those pain in the ass are needed to get things done. The going to disease infects every government agency. Wayne understood it is do or not do. There is no try or going to. I am here at Wayne's request. In a phone call several weeks before he died, he asked me to be here at his memorial service to read something that he carried in his wallet for over 40 years. Before I do, these are Wayne's words that I want to add. I don't think we're going to save the lake. I wouldn't have said that two or three years ago, but I've been at this for 20 years now. Correction, make that 37 years. As of 2006, he began in 1969. Wayne again, I do have hope that we can still save the lake. Yeah, I have hope. But there's a lot of difference between hope and belief. Now I'll read what Wayne carried in his wallet. It was the back of a business card. The title is Credo for Leaders. Teddy Roosevelt said it first. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or whether the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, and who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows, in the end, the triumph of high achievement and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Thank you very much. Push the button. I, I, did you I have to have you, my... you got to push the button to turn it off.